A long time ago, Jama was a land of peace and happiness. But then the phantoms appeared and threatened to destroy this amazing land. Join the Alphas, Jama's bravest heroes, on their first adventure. Will they be able to work together, defeat the phantoms, and save all of Jama? Well, let's find out. <laughs> Animal Jam, The Call of the Alphas, Prologue. A long time ago, all across the land, the animals of Jama were celebrating. In Appendale, the hot sun beat down on several elephants rolling around happily in the mud pool. Around them, giraffes stretched their necks to reach the leaves at the top of the highest acacia trees. Cheetahs raced across the grass, chasing the elephants in game after game of tag. Shimmering snow fell gently on Mount Shavir, covering the ski tracks the penguins and pandas left on the slopes. In a cozy hut near the top of the mountain, snow leopards and arctic wolves toasted their friendship with steaming mugs of hot cocoa. The normally quiet Serapia forest was alive with music as bunnies thumped their feet in rhythm while lions provided a bass line. Raccoons danced and twirled in the clearing, and soon even the wolves gave in and joined the frolicking. In Kimbara Outback, kangaroos cooled off in the clear streams running out from the great reservoir, laughing and splashing one another. Nearby, some koalas napped while others leisurely munched away at an all-you-can-eat eucalyptus leaf buffet. Horses galloped up the rocky trails of coral canyons to join the foxes and lions around a cackling campfire. The sun began to set, causing the mesa surrounding them to glow red and orange. A few eagles soaring overhead dipped lower to listen as the foxes told tale after tale. Although they celebrated in different ways, the animals were all rejoicing for the same reason. They enjoyed a deep connection to their land and strong friendships with one another. And to strengthen this, each species had just received an incredible gift from the guardian spirits of Jama, a heartstone. Your heartstone contains the essence of your species, Mira had told them, spreading her great heron wings and ruffling her blue-gray feathers. Her eyes shone with pride, and her long beak curved in a gentle smile. It contains what makes you special, the secret of what makes you who you are. They're beautiful, said a panda, his eyes wide with awe. A raccoon nodded in agreement. But what if we lose them, she fretted. How can we keep them safe? Zios answered, his expression radiating warmth. Mira and I have a place in mind to store all the heartstones together. The guardian spirit looked down at the animals through his golden mask. All together, asked a wolf, arching his brow. Mira nodded. They'll be safe there, we promise. The animals agreed, and so the two guardian spirits of Jama hid the heartstones beneath the lost temple of Zios, an ancient temple that had stood in the jungle for as long as anyone could remember. And for many years afterward, animals across the land continued to live in peace and harmony. But as time went on, seeds of suspicion began to bloom in their hearts. The cheetahs became convinced the tigers envied their speed. The nervous raccoons told themselves the wolves looked rather shifty. The foxes' tall tails began to irritate the lions, who were starting to think the foxes lied a little too naturally. Soon, not a single species trusted another. The wolves were the first to remove their heartstone from beneath the lost temple of Zios. The others soon followed their example, bringing their heartstones to their individual villages, and the camaraderie between the animals of Jama was lost. It was during this time of division that a new threat began to creep its slimy tentacles into Jama, a horde of evil phantoms. They were led by the cruel phantom queen, and no one in Jama had ever seen such vile creatures. The phantoms spread filth and pollution all over the land, and as they did, rumors about their intentions began to spread as well. They're poisoning the water, one monkey informed another, over a murky watering hole. To make us sick. They're polluting the air, a kangaroo croaked after a long coughing fit. To make us leave. They're not just ruining our environment, a tiger realized somberly. They're making it hospitable for themselves. They want to take over Jama. Before long, the phantoms set their sights on the heartstones. 
Not only did they take over the animals' villages and steal the precious jewels, the phantoms turned their power to a darker purpose, using each heartstone to trap its entire species. One by one, the animals vanished. The kangaroos, the lions, the raccoons, the elephants, the cheetahs. And with every disappearance, all the other species withdrew even more, trusting no one but themselves. Although Mira and Zios were powerful guardians, even they could not stop the phantom's progress. And before they knew it, there were only six heartstones and six species left in Jama. Hey guys, Babbert here, and welcome to the end of the video. That's really weird. I'm introducing myself at the end. That's just so strange. Anyway, I really hope that you enjoyed that little thing I put together. It took like three hours, I'm not gonna lie, guys. And it may seem like really stupid that that took three hours, but everyone kept coming and interrupting us and like it was so hard to shoot just one scene. I think that for the elephant and cheetah chasing scene, it took about 30 minutes to get that because we were interrupted so many times. For the Mount Shavir scene, I don't know why, but a bunch of new members, just like brand new people who had never played the game before, just kept coming in. Like, what, what? Like, maybe it's a place to go now when you first join Animal Jam. Like, oh, would you wanna go design your den, play some games, or go to Mount Shavir's Coco Hut? Because honestly, there were so many new members coming in, I was like, what the heck is even going on? But Anyway, that's besides the point. Oh, I should probably switch back to usernames now because, oh, wrong thing. Where's the thing? There we go. <laughs> because for this entire video, I was using animal names and not usernames because I didn't want to disrupt the flow of the video and make it seem like not genuine by putting in our usernames. Because I just thought it'd be better with the animal names because then it kind of seems more like real. I don't know. Tell me in the comment section down below what you think about that. But anyway, since I didn't show their usernames in this video, I want to give a quick shout out to everyone who helped me in this video. Mainly, I want to thank Cheerios, first of all, because he was there literally the entire time, like the entire three hours it took to make this. So thank you so much, Cheerios, as well as Etched. She was also there from the very beginning. Then a few others that helped, my friend Sophie, Typical Rocky, as well as Squirm. So try to see which one is which in this video. I had them dress randomly, so if you can guess which person is which animal in this video, props to you. I mean, Squirm is probably really easy to guess. He's just the one with the blue name tag, but everyone else, it's kind of a surprise. Anyway, keep in mind, today is a weekday, so people have homework and jobs and lives, not to mention other people who are doing the pact who want to do daily videos. They still have to put out their videos, so it was really a big help and really it was so much and so kind of them to do this for me. So I just really want to thank them for taking the time out of their lives to help me because honestly, I just really, really wanted to do this today and I got it done. But it wouldn't be without them that I got it done. Anyway, let me tell you a bit about this video. I kind of got inspired because I got the Animal Jam magazine in the mail and along with it came like a little book. And it wasn't really a book, it was more like a sample book, like it wasn't an actual book where like the pages were like stuffed into the binding and all that. It was more of like a pamphlet. It was more like a magazine itself, but like a book magazine. I don't know. Anyway, the point is, it was a book. I got a book, and it was The Call of the Alphas, and then tonight, I just got this idea. I was like, I want to voice over that and make it into like a series on my channel where I just like take the book and read out the chapters and make something like this, like kind of like a music video to it, but not a music video, more of like a, just a, just a video, I guess is what it's called, just a regular old video. <laughs> So please let me know in the comment section down below if you'd like to see any more of these because if it's a yes, then I am definitely planning on doing chapter one and two and three and all the rest of the books that they come out with. They're a lot of work, but this was very fun and rewarding. And also I like to narrate things. That's a thing I found out about myself. It's pretty fun to narrate, I guess. Is there anything else that I have to say? Oh yeah, you can buy the Call of the Alphas if you want to. I'll put a link in the description down below, as well as you guys should go and subscribe to everyone that helped me today. I'll put their links in the description down below. And anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I put a lot of effort into it, and it really means a lot that you stuck around to the end. And anyways, I'll see you guys in my next video. Good. Bye.
feel it still. 